the, this question is for the ladies of the cast. I love the chemistry, as we talked about, of the relationships and the way that the friendships feel familiar yet fresh. What are some of your favorite elements or characteristics of these friendships as a four then as sort of we see the then break off into individual sort of situations within themselves as well? For me, it's their ability to put the relationship first. No matter like what's going on, no matter what like um, conflict they may have, there's always an understanding that we are a tribe and we're going to work it out. Whether you're, whether you're mad at me, you're going to take this jab or not. Um, whether I'm giving you a little bit of shade, there's always a um, priority to maintain the friendship. And that's one thing that I really like had to learn from these ladies because I'm quick to like go somebody. Um, but it's so important to just like be able to work it out like have the conversation. And I think it's also to like the commitment to just be with one another that I really cherished from these ladies. Yeah, for me, it's um, it's a safe space. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like, especially in the last couple of years, it's been a very traumatic time for, for everyone. And so finding safe spaces where you can be your authentic self, where you can be vulnerable and transparent and, and show all parts of you, it, it's so important. And I, I really feel like that's what these sisters have with each other, is a safe space to cry, to be upset, to be honest with each other, to tell each other what's on our minds. Um, and so you know, the more I I see that reflected in my own life, just how much I really value that. And so being able to see it represented here in the show, Mm -hmm. I think is indispensable. This question is for Tracy, and it's actually about Camille's character. Having her set in academia and using her lectures as sort of a jumping off point in various episodes, I want to know what that process was like in the writer's room. And did you decide storyline first and then build her lectures around it? Or was that something that you came in with some of these themes that you wanted to explore through her character and then build the story out from there? That's a really good question. Um, I would say we mostly did the story that we wanted to do and then like inevitably there was always some kind of theme that was tying it all together and then we would actually research we would then be like okay so if this is kind of what the episode is thematically about what's an anthropological take that can weave all of this together so we never wanted the anthropology and the themes to dictate the story if that makes any sense we didn't want to be locked in story-wise so the story always came first and then we would research and figure out what's a really cool anthropology story or something to like weave into this and it just was a lot of research and we actually had a couple of like um, black PhDs come in to the writer's room and talk to us about their experiences and um one of my best friends is a, a black PhD professor that I kind of like, I won't say I based Camille on, but like was heavily inspired by her and her life. And yeah, it was just, I thought anthropology was a really cool way to explore modern relationships and, and dating. And I wanted Camille to have like kind of like a voice or a theme every episode to kind of tie it together. I always really like, um, I guess, dramatic frameworks like that. I think it's always just really cool when you do it. And um, yeah, but we always did story first and then um, theme second. Thank you. I love that because um, actually a group of friends and I, when we were younger, that's what we would call anthropology. That's what we would call dating and Mm. specialty. different areas so stuck out to me thank you oh thank you that's really cool 